Hello and welcome back to my Blood Masquerade Bloodlines if you're still losing your demand. It's still in the sewers. And last I checked there were a lot of pieces around. I think they're from a band or something. Oh that's a ranged combatant. That changes nothing. It still dies the same. Hello, sir. Oh, very rude. Okay, another ledger. This looks to be the weekly log of Douglas Streets, foreman of the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power, 1957. And 9th of July, 1957, the disappearance of Sewerman Whitman, Price and Haddad, Sewerman Whitman, Price and Haddad has launched an attack in the papers of the, on the department. It has fallen to me to try and ascertain their fate. I will do so to the best of my ability. The 10th of July, 1957, for reasons the uncharted regions of the sewers have been fruitless as of yet. City Hall has been unable to produce blueprints of these sections, and so we continue forth blindly. 7th, 11th of <laughs> July 1957. I have been witness to many strange and inexplicable sounds and events in what can only be the very oldest sections of the Los Angeles sewers. I found a rusted plate that read LADVP 1902. The events I can only describe as otherworldly, both in sound and texture, as well as in the feeling it gave upon my skin, a coldness, shadows and whispers. I have no explanation for these, except perhaps the creations of my own overtaxed mind. We will continue tomorrow. The 12th of July, 1957. Still no sign of the missing men, but the fear grows in my mind that something truly evil resides in the lowest sections of those sewers. Though I wish not to tell some Lovecraftian tale, I can only say what lies in my heart. I wish no longer to travel down these dark corridors, and my opinion is that those poor men fell victim to some old and ancient demon that resides there. I will tell the mayor what I have seen and pray that he does not take me for a madman. The mayor has listened to my report with the utmost earnestness on the 15th of July 1957, and has decided most wisely to break up those lowest sections of the sewers in which I witnessed those frightening phantasmal events. The public will be told that Whitman, Price and Haddad were lost to these sections because they were old and unsafe and therefore he will justify his closing of them to the unfortunate vehicle of their, to the unfortunate vehicle of their unexplained deaths. So be it. I pray their souls find safe heaven and some lighter refuge of the afterlife. I myself have a sign from the department. I no longer have the wish to delve into the dark places of the earth. I leave this ledger here unseen and pricked away from human eyes, so that perhaps the memory of these things will disappear as well. Sincerely, Douglas Street's foreman, LATVP, and all that. Okay, but let's, let us discard. Is this just a dark tunnel? Yes. So this is that door. Okay, so this literally was the door I was looking at before. Cool. Things are connecting back up again. Okay, let's go upstairs first. Look around. <laughs> Slap some boys with my axe. Give them the final death as they deserve. Yeah. And this is a dead end. Fair enough. It does not quite explain to me why they were hiding there, but... I guess they are as eager to look everywhere in these sewers as I am. I also want to know where the Nosferatu are hiding. For slightly different reasons, I want to make friends. They want to eat their faces. It 
still cannibalism, isn't that? Isn't it, though? I mean, since they are almost nothing but faces. Yes, they are indeed butt faces. This guy is the one I already tried. But in the sewers, too, as sewer people do. Which is snack on rats. I mean, they're stiff anyway. That looks like a door. Oh, and that looks like a big friend, again. I want the tiny friends to come to me first. Or not. Oh, it does claw work as well. I'm impressed that it only did the uh, skull thing. This one opens up. Cool. But there was still that one door I wanted to check. As well as this delicious rat. Oh my god, that's a whole herd of rats. Not the healthiest type of snack, I admit. I mean. We haven't fully gotten rid of every plagued person in the city, have we? The rats might also carry the plague, or maybe not. Oh, two friends! Where's the other one? There he is. Okay, that's that handled. Lock is the difficulty of free. That's not quite what I expected. And you look like a big friend. Put a shirt on. Okay, this is unfortunate for me. Because I'm very much a melee fighter and so is she. By the looks of it. Yep. Certainly looks like it. I don't want to train my blood, blood sack for this person. So I'm just gonna have to try and play it smart, whatever that means. It could mean taking out the gun. I don't think it does mean that. Stop that. You can't just fling corpses around when you're unhappy with me. What do you mean this doesn't count as damage? That counted as damage. Yeah, miss. You wanna fight? Huh? But I don't. So I'm asking, asking you kindly to go away. Oh. I hope there was an autosave here. There was not, no. Oh, I didn't notice that before, but we are from Precinct 69. Nice. Okay, I'm skipping the upstairs part this time because it doesn't really benefit me all that much. I think all there were were some rats. So we might as well just go here and make friends. I'm 
Let me bro. You should get that looked at. Yep. Apparently I got inside some barrels. Not entirely sure how that happened. Right. Why did I get stuck on? What am I stuck on? Bottle? Was I stuck on this corpse or a bottle? I got stuck on a corpse. Okay. That's fair. I've been playing video games where space is toys roll, so yeah. Stop that. Stop that. Otherwise I'll have to go and start cheesing you again. That's no one's pleasure. Oh! That's a good throw. I did not expect you to toss me. Don't tell the elf. Oh, I'm stuck on the corpse now. That's fine. You okay with that? That good for you? Good. Good. I didn't need all that mess. Good, good, good. Right, so what do we do now? There's a ladder. Probably use the ladder. For what? I don't know. Okay, maybe we're not supposed to use the ladder. Was this the section that was blocked off in the 50s? Oh yeah, the screens and monitors and all that good stuff. Was the guy supposed to... Guy. The girl supposed to open a way for me. I don't see around. This is final death. This isn't all that good for me. These vents don't benefit me. These pipes don't benefit me. Oh, but this is actually just an ammo grade. Oh, I can't carry that much. Did I drop my entire gun or is that a copy of my gun? mind. There goes my blood again. Let's switch back to my axe because that's what we that's what we know and love. And then we need to understand exactly where to proceed from here. It seems sensible that ladder is the way. Sensible to me. But what I do not know is where can I go from this here? I'm probably missing something really obvious. That's, that's the classic way to handle things, isn't it? I might be missing something less obvious and that I'm not a fan of. I get combat music from hitting a barrel. That's nice. I'm not sure I should be getting combat music from eating a barrel. But don't I have a hand? 
on the other, other hand, which is the first hand. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, if you get some XP at some point, no. I misremember. This is locked too, as of now. So there is only one way forwards. And I have no idea where that is. I think that might be it. Just give me the shot. Doesn't look to be easy to get there. That looks like an empty. Oh, it's not that empty. You can't get back right up this one. I do like that there was actually ammo here for the fight, probably. And what I did was uh, spin around the pillar. We throw all sorts of other nonsense. And these red lights won't save me. This box here won't save me. to look this one up because I have no idea apparently I'm supposed to suffer a final death you want to try using guns this time I no wrong not Out of this corpse stuck land. That turnaround was a little bit too sudden for me. There we go. Okay, now before I jump, let's quick save. I fought this guy three times now, so... Right. Okay, so... We have a gun. Yay! Now let's switch back to the third person so I can see where I'm jumping. Good, good, good. I can't see shit now because we have our axe out. Okay. Right, we're making progress. Googling that helped. So really, I should have noticed the shiny, but I didn't look on the other hand, the other side of the place because I died when I first tried anything along those lines, you know. Right, so those fan blades don't look friendly. Doing my attempt to not fall straight through them. Whoops, 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 whoops. Ow. And that's essentially what I was trying to avoid. Okay, we can hear people again. By people, I mean those creatures that are waiting for the final death. Come here. There you go. There you go. This looks like it could be a door. Apparently it is not. 
Oh, there's another one of these? I thought you were a boss fight. Very much this type of thing to be a boss fight. Okay. I'm gonna have to go for my blood sack. And I don't have any distractions for it this time. You're just going to be trying to hit me constantly, and I will have nothing to defend myself with. And I will most likely die. Which I'm not a fan of. There we go, final death god. And the last saved before the leap. There we go. And one should be... No. I wanted my axe. Perform the leap to death. I wonder if I jump further when I don't have my weapon shielded. Or it's more just a matter of knowing when your feet are actually touching the edge. Because this seems a bit silly, doesn't it? Yeah, just a bit. Just a whole lot of shit. Yes. Alright, so let's go back into this portion here. But for the honor of Precinct 69, let's take a leap of faith. Or several of them. Apparently fall damage is a thing. Unlike what I learned on Polygon, vampires are not immune to gravity. At least not in this game. But you know how they always levitate it out of their coffins and stuff like that. That does sound like sound evidence towards them being resistant. To gravity. Okay, big save. Then a couple of snacks before we meet our doom again. I might have to try using range weapons. Hello, Ratty, why are you flying? Stop flying, Mr. Ratty. Hey, head, come here. You wanna get a head in life? I'll teach you the hands on approach. Well, that lady over there does not need to get ahead of her. She already has three heads. I want the kids to come to me. Before that lady does. How much can this bad boy fit into itself? Let's give it a try. I'm not sure that's enough. The fact that one of the heads is out, we must see. situation. I could switch to my axe real quick. I should. Okay, we survived that. With a little bit of assistance from gunplay. Okay. Aren't they cute? You could just eat them up. I kind of hope that there's no more of those bastards in this tunnel. So that is a lot to hope for. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time when we will put that to the test. Bye bye.